I love a locked room mystery, and I often go back to the classics, including the master of the locked room, Agatha Christie. So when I think of an Agatha Christie locked room mystery, uh, the first one that I think of is Murder on the Orient Express. Now, it's not exactly a locked room, but a murder that takes place on a moving train while no one was able to get on or off creates a lot of that same feeling. Having said that, I would say the Agatha Christie book I thought about the most while I was writing The Retreat is And Then There Were None. Another locked island mystery, if you will, is Lucy Foley's The Guest List. This one's a little bit different. Now we're on a tiny island off the coast of Ireland for a sumptuous influencer-style wedding. The setting for this one was truly close to my heart because it reminded me so much of my own home on the island of Newfoundland, also in the Atlantic Ocean, but just off the coast of Canada. Weddings are fantastic for secrets and lies, and guests to this wedding show up with plenty of both. Lastly, if you truly want a locked room, if you are a person who loves puzzles, then I have to recommend a classic Japanese murder mystery, The Honjin Murders by Seishi Yokomizo. This was originally published in the 1940s and won the very first Japanese Mystery Writers Award in 1948. It also introduces a kind of Japanese Hercule Poirot character, a very special private eye, um, who appears in many books afterwards, whose name is Kusuke Kindeichi. In the Honjin murders, the Ichinagi family is excitedly preparing for the wedding of the family's eldest brother, including preparing a special one-room annex house that exists on their property. This is where the newlyweds are going to spend their wedding night. But hours after the ceremony, the entire family is awoken by screams. They rush to the annex house, break open the locked gate, break down the locked door, only to find the newlyweds stabbed to death inside, and the sword that was the weapon out in the snow. But if the door was locked from the inside, then how did the murderer get in? And how did they get out again? My name is Elizabeth Demariathi, and I am the author of The Retreat. The book comes out on July 20th, and I am so excited to get it into readers' hands. If you haven't had a chance to check the book out yet, I can give you a little bit of a teaser. The Retreat takes place um, high in the Rocky Mountains at a snowy mountain lodge that is a secluded arts retreat. The main character, Maeve Martin, is a professional dancer, and she arrives at the retreat for a two-week stay to kind of reinvigorate her career after let's say, a series of difficult life events. Um, but while she's there, a heavy snowfall and a freak avalanche ends up trapping Maeve and a handful of other artists at the retreat. They're cut off from the village below, so no one can get to them to help them. And of course, no one can leave the retreat. When people start dying, Maeve realizes that someone there is not what they seem and may just be a killer. I really hope that you enjoy reading the retreat as much as I liked writing it. Mm -hmm.